check out this really cool feature known as play in the background for videos and this is for your Techno Spark 10 Pro phone. Now, in order to get access to this feature here, you'll need to enable the smart panel feature for video playing apps. And I'll show you now where to go to access this here. And basically what you wanna do is use the quick panel access, then go to the settings here. And as you enter into the settings here, use the search settings and type in the words smart panel, okay? And as you do that, you're going to see the suggestion here. Uh, if you type it incorrectly, you'll see the smart panel suggestion here. Go to it. Then you'll be taken to exactly where you need to go. Okay, so go ahead and enable it here. You've got a few more options such as virtual volume slider and all that stuff if you want to enable those here. And once you have this enabled, now if you are in a middle of a video, and this works for YouTube videos as well, so let's say we're playing a video here right now. The video is playing in the background. And in order to get access to the smart panel itself, you're going to kind of drag from the corner here or the edge of the screen here and kind of hold it down like you'll feel it vibrate there. And then once you let it go, you'll see this here show up. Then once you have this show up here, you will, oops, sorry, <laughs> slippery phone, by the way. And then you'll see this here that says play uh, in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time. You'll feel it vibrate there. You'll see playing in the background. And what this is going to happen is your video is going to be playing while in the lock screen mode. So if you don't really want to sit there and watch the video on your phone, but you just want to hear what the video is saying, you can do that. So this is a video of mine. And you can still hear the video playing while the screen is locked. Okay, And of course, once you go back to it now, uh, you'll simply just go back this here. Okay, and you can just do this process again. It's a pretty cool feature. Uh, I think it's really useful, and I think every Android phone should have this feature. Like and sub, and thanks for watching.